up at Cinema Shogun here, and let's just say there has been a lot of tea spilled about Prince Andrew lately. And some of this latest tea, or shall I say, latest details to trickle out about Prince Andrew are some of the weirdest yet. Now, these details aren't as weird as the last story I brought to you all about Prince Andrew. About how Prince Andrew uses a puppet of himself to do unspeakable things to people. Now, that story actually gave me nightmares. And I'm not saying this just for a few giggles. I'm not saying this to be dramatic. That story gave me nightmares. And if you want to learn about that, I have a video about that on my channel. You can go check it out. But these details are still weird nonetheless because Prince Andrew had this obsession with his teddy bear collection. Now, just to let you know a little bit about myself for those of y'all who might not know, I am a huge collector. I collect toys, action figures, retro video games, you name it. So I understand the collecting world. I understand the collecting mentality. So hearing that Prince Andrew had a collection of teddy bears didn't sound off-putting to me. But when I heard how obsessed he was with how they had to be placed and what he would do with these teddy bears, that's what stuck out to me as really odd. Because even as a grown man, Prince Andrew throws temper tantrums over these stuffed animals and how they are placed in his room and on his bed. I want to bring you all this story real quick. Because Prince Andrew would scream and shout if his soft toys were not in order. He actually left a handwritten guide, a list that included two hippos and a black panther that would have to be specially set out on his bed. They said that the guide tells staff a specific way of making his bed, including arranging three cushions called Daddy, Ducks, and Prince. The sketch shows precisely where to place his blankets, all five teddies, and a fur, ordering that its ribbons must hang off of his bed. His bedtime demands are sure to embarrass him as he prepares to give sworn testimony against Virginia. An insider said, it's hilarious. A prince of England would want teddies on his bed. You can almost imagine him crying. Mommy, mommy, they haven't put the hippos on me bed to the queen if anyone got it wrong. Maybe they were presents from his daughters or Fergie, but it's still strange. The laminated instructions titled DOY bed points for turn down and making the bed were kept near the Duke's Buckingham Palace bedroom. Staff wrote, when the DOY is staying overnight, place one small teddy and cushion in the turn down. When making the bed, place the teddy and cushion set next to the teddy on the left hand side with the necklaces on. Underneath, in capital letters, it stresses, do not lose the teddy and cushion. You can see right here in this picture how he wanted all of these items placed. The instructions say that Andrew must have a gray hippo teddy on the right-hand side of the bed and a black panther half the way down. Another hippo teddy must be placed on a green throw at the foot of the bed. Paul Page, who worked in the Royal Protection Command from 1998 to 2004, claims he saw Andrew's bed piled high with stuffed toys when he had access to his private apartment. It had about 50 or 60 stuffed toys positioned on the bed. And basically, there was a card the inspector showed us in a drawer, and it was the pictures of all these bears and how they were supposed to be situated. The reason for the laminated picture was if those bears weren't put back in the right order by the maids, he would shout and scream. Royal biographer Angela Levin said, the fact that the teddies have to be in a certain position is almost like he is giving them orders. It is hugely embarrassing as here's a man who flew helicopters in the Falklands War and was in the Royal Navy for more than 20 years and the country was very proud of him. Yet here he is, incredibly insecure, and he needs teddies by his side. Perhaps he is very lonely. 
Now, while doing a little research into this story, I actually stumbled across an interview with Prince Andrew from 2010 where he talks about his teddy bear collection. And he said he used to get these teddy bears from various places around the world that he used to go and visit while he was traveling. Now, of course, maybe that sounds kind of normal. Yeah, okay. If Prince Andrew was a normal person, then yeah, that sounds perfectly reasonable. But knowing what we know about Prince Andrew now, knowing what type of company he kept, knowing that these trips that he took around the world, knowing what he was doing on those trips, he wasn't doing what we thought he was doing, okay? He wasn't playing around jogging in dandelion fields. No, he was doing a lot of things that I can't even speak about. We know what he and his friends were doing, right? So when he would go on these trips, and he needed a reminder of these trips, what was it really reminding him of? Now, when you think of a teddy bear, you think of innocence, right? When I think, what's more innocent than a teddy bear? A teddy bear is like a sign of innocence. Often a kid grows up and he ditches his teddy bear as he loses his innocence and moves on to adulthood or to being a teenager or to being a preteen, getting older. You're losing your innocence. What did Prince Andrew and his colleagues and friends do to a lot of people, a lot of young people? They took away their innocence. So now I have to ask myself, Prince Andrew has all of these teddy bears on his bed at his apartment. We're not even talking about the royal palace right now. We're talking about the bed at his apartment because I want you to understand these are two different places. What are they really marking? Because we know that people who do horrible things to people Often they like to keep a memory, like a souvenir, if you will. R. Kelly, for example. The people whose lives he affected and, and who he did things to. He used to keep videos of it and pictures, right? To remind him of those times. So now I'm questioning, was Prince Andrew collecting a teddy bear for every person that he did something to while on his trips? Now, he claims that some of these teddy bears come from when he was in the Navy and traveling around. Yeah, I can't really find any stories of Prince Andrew collecting teddy bears while in the Navy. And the story about Prince Andrew wigging out and flipping out over this stuff are recent stories. Way after he was out of the Navy. And the fact that he has to have them play certain ways it's weird because in the palace, in his bedroom, when he comes over to spend the night, they have to place these things in certain areas. And you have to ask yourself, what's the significance of that? Maybe the way they place these teddy bears and his blankets on his bed, maybe that makes him feel comfortable because it brings him back to his childhood. Or maybe it brings him back to some visuals of when he lost his innocence. Maybe something happened to him. Now I would think that it would be more so for good memories. But it's also like somewhat of a control factor. Like I said, I'm a collector. I understand the collecting mentality. I understand cherishing things from your childhood. A lot of my collecting has, me, has been me going back and trying to find cool things from my childhood and buying them so I could have them again. But never am I worried about specific placements of things because that's not significant to me. But the Prince Andrew, it is purely significant that things must be placed a certain way. Is it because he still just wants the bed to be the exact way it was when he was a child? Because he's still trapped in a childlike mind state? Because someone this rich and powerful is incapable of living a real life? And they don't have a sense of responsibility. He does the things that he does to people because he doesn't feel like he'll be held accountable because he still feels like a child. And he feels like he can get away with the whatever. And then he comes to the palace and sleeps on a bed with Teddy's place in specific places. And if they're not there, he flips out and goes crazy about it. 
That's like a control thing as well. And a lot of people who do what Prince Andrew has been said to have done to people and what his friends did to people, a lot of that is about control. These people have these like urges for control, like how we have urges and desires. It's about control for them. Because normal stuff, that's off the table. That doesn't get these people off anymore. Controlling people does. Like I said, I'm a collector. I understand collecting. This is more than just a collection. This is more than collecting. This isn't normal collecting mentality. I feel like it's something far more sinister. Now, is it what I said it is? Who knows? That's just the way my mind gets to thinking. And like I said, if he was just a normal person that hadn't done all of these things and hung out with all these people, then I wouldn't think twice about it. But knowing what I know, that's when you have to start asking questions. Knowing that this guy used puppets to do stuff to people, and then he has this controlling, weird obsession with this teddy bear collection. You start connecting the dots and putting two and two together. And... It just all boils down to some stuff that I don't even want to say right here. Just know this is one sick and twisted individual. And I can only, I don't even want to imagine the type of things this guy did to people. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my cash app. If you would like to support the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I also have a link to my other YouTube channel. Go subscribe over there. I just posted a new video over there. And a link to my Twitter. Go follow me over there. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.